normal distribution is a mathematical model. It is based on the law of probability. It is represented by a curve, not an actual distribution of measures or the scores. Therefore, it is called a normal probability curve. It is a natural phenomenon that the measures of the scores always and tend to be distributed symmetrically about the means. Majority of these scores lies at the middle of the distribution and very few scores lie at two extremes, both right and left in equal proportions. It is a bell shaped curve, symmetrical on both sides of its center. From the peak of the curve, if the sloping line is equal or symmetrical on both sides, it exhibits bilateral symmetry. If a perpendicular is drawn from the peak of the curve to the base, it would divide the curve equally into two parts. The point at which the perpendicular is drawn from the peak of the curve to the base, touches the base, is called the mean of the distribution. In a normal distribution curve, the mean is equal to the mode is equal to the median. That means the mean, median and the mode coincides at a single point that is exactly at the middle of the baseline represented by O. The baseline to the left and right of the divided into sigma units that is 1 sigma, 2 sigma, 3 sigma. This is minus 1 sigma, minus 2 sigma, minus 3 sigma. These are called sigma distances. Sigma distance, sigma distance is equal to score minus mean divided by standard deviation. Let us consider an example. If the mean of a group of students in mental ability is 38, standard deviation is 8, how would you represent the score of 46, 54, 62. Sigma distance is equal to score minus mean by standard deviation. Here one score is 46, 46 minus 38 by 8, that is 8 by 8 which is equal to 1 sigma. Score of 46 is 1 sigma more than the mean. Similarly, if we consider the case of 54, it will be 2 sigma more than the mean. If we consider 62, it will be 3 sigma more than the mean. Similarly, we can calculate the sigma distance of score of 30, 22, 14, which would be 1 sigma less than the mean, 2 sigma less than the mean and 3 sigma less than the mean respectively. Remember, the sigma distance of mean is always zero. As the mean, median, mode coincides at the point O, so the sigma distance of the mean is zero. If the score is more than the mean, it will be right side to the mean. If the score is less than the mean, it will be left side and side of the mean. In a normal distribution, almost all scores, about 99.73%, lie within the range of plus 3 sigma to minus 3 sigma. Only very few cases, about 0.23% of scores, that is very very insignificant also, lies beyond plus 3 sigma and minus 3 sigma. The lowest score and the highest score are expected to lie between 3 sigma, that is plus 3 sigma and minus 3 sigma. Therefore, in a distribution, the minimum score is equal to mean minus 3 sigma and the maximum score is equal to mean plus 3 sigma. Large percentage of scores lie at the middle of the distribution between plus 1 sigma and minus 1 sigma. Remember, about 68.2% of the scores, that is nearly two-third of the whole scores lie within plus sigma and minus one sigma. 
beyond plus 1 sigma and minus 1 sigma there are only 15.9% of the scores nearly 16% that is one sixth of the total scores lie beyond plus 2 sigma and minus 2 sigma that is 4.3% of the score lie within this range majority of the scores that is 68.2% lie at the middle of the distribution and gradually declines on either sides from table A percentage of the scores lie between the mean and different sigma distance can be estimated which is reflected in the figure that is where you find about 68% within plus 1 sigma and minus 1 sigma remaining goes beyond two extremes. There are no perfect normal curve. As a result, there is a divergence from the normality. Now the question arises, what is the reason, what are the causes of divergence and extent of divergence, to what extent the divergence occurs. It depends upon several factors. That is improper selection of sample, suitability of the test, error in test construction, error in administration of the test, error in scoring and also nature of the trait being measured etc. Let us take an example. In a distribution of the mean of a group of students in a mental ability is 38, standard deviation is 8. What percentage of score lie between 30 and 40? What percentage of the score lie between 40 and 50? What percentage of the score lie between 20 and 30? Let us take one by one. What percentage of the score lie between 30 and 40? Let us first step one. Standard score of 30 is equal to 30 minus mean 38 divided by 8. Standard deviation is 8, which is equal to minus 1. That is minus 1 sigma distance from the mean. 1 sigma below the mean. Step 2. Standard score of 40. 40 minus 38 by 8. Which is equal to 0 0.25. That is 0.25 sigma distance from the mean. That is 0.25 sigma above the mean. Now let us go to table A. Between the mean and the minus 1 sigma, there are 34.1% of scores and between 0.25 sigma and distance, there are 9.87% of cases lies. So minus 1 sigma distance and 0.25 sigma distance, 44% of the scores lies. That is 34.13 plus 9.87 which is equal to 44%. 44% of the cases lies between th the score 30 and the 40. Now coming to the second bit. The standard score of 40 is 0.25 sigma distance from the mean. That is 0.25 sigma above the mean. So there are 9.87% cases lie between the mean and 40. Coming to step 2. Standard score of 50 is 50 minus 38 by 8 which is equal to 1.5 that is 1.5 sigma distance from the mean we can say 1.5 sigma lie above the mean there are 43.32 percent score lie between the mean and 50 so percentage of the score between 40 and 50 is equal to 43.32 minus 9.87 is equal to 33.45% of score lie between these range. Coming to bit 3, standard score of 30 is equal to 30 minus mean is 38 divided by 8 which is equal to minus 1 that is minus 1 sigma distance from the mean, 1 sigma distance below the mean. As it is a negative sign, so it is coming below the mean. 
there are 34.13% of the score between the mean and the 30. Step 2, standard score of 20 is equal to 20 minus 38 by 8 which is equal to minus 2.25 that is minus 2.25 sigma distance from the mean 2.25 sigma distance below the mean because of the negative sign. There are 48.78% of score lie between mean and 20. So percentage of score between 20 and 30 is equal to 48.78 minus 34.13 which is equal to 14.6% of the score lie between this range. Many other examples are given in chapter 2 of the module 1. Uh, MCO, you will go through it and find it interesting and comfortable for you. You are going to respond the question forums as well. Review the document that is given for you and finally assess yourself. All the best.